Oh. <laughs> Mayor? Sir. You and I are going to be down there for the... Yes, sir. Uh, presentation? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you want to do that after the outstanding Louisville one? Uh, or as the agenda says before? Yeah, let me do the... Let me do the proclamation first, then I'll have you come down, okay? Right. Oh, okay. Everybody can see you do. Ready now, Bob? I'm ready. It is 7 o'clock. We do have a quorum. We'll call the city council meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda tonight is the invocation given by Councilman Gilmore and the pledge to both the American and Texas flags given by myself. <clears throat> Please join me in a moment of silence and introspection. Thank you. Will you please join me in our pledge of allegiance to both the American and Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Honor to the Texas flag. I have a special proclamation that I'd like to begin with tonight. Uh, if I could, if I could have Patrick Bobbick and anybody else here that's representing, if you gentlemen would please come forward with me. Now these gentlemen do a lot of good work. Don't think that just because they wear these nice little hats that they're clowns because they're not. <laughs> well, they kind of are, I guess. And that's because they represent a very special group in this country and around the world that does a lot of good for people. And sometimes they do a little clowning around to make kids that are less fortunate than some of us laugh. They bring tears of joy to their eyes. They bring hope to their life. They bring cures to some of their illnesses. And they do this out of the goodness of their heart, and they do this irrespective of their ability to pay. These gentlemen here, I say, represent the Shrine and the Shriner Hospital. And I can speak to this because I am a Mason. And I can say without any doubt in my mind that what they do is sincerely heartfelt and comes from within. In fact, they put service for others above self. And for that, I want to congratulate you, gentlemen, and all the work you do, and I want to read this proclamation that we have for you tonight. Whereas Shriners Hospitals for Children is a national nonprofit organization committed to giving children the opportunity to live a more normal life, and whereas Shriners Hospital for Children gives children the opportunity to receive free treatment for orthopedic problems, severe burns, spinal cord injuries, and provides them with a head start in developing a normal life, regardless of the patient's ability to pay. That is essential to becoming successful and contributing adults. 
and whereas on February 28, 2012, Shriners Hospital for Children and IHOP will join together to encourage people to donate to Shriners Hospitals for Children activities in our city. Now, therefore, I, Dean Euchert, Mayor of the City of Louisville, in recognition of this important event, do hereby proclaim February 28, 2012 in Louisville as IHOP's National Pancake Day and Shriners Hospitals for Children Day. And I urge all citizens to take <coughs> cognizance of this, of this event and participate in all the events related thereunto to this community. Gentlemen, once again, I want to say thank you, thank and I'll you. give you the opportunity to say yeah. a few words. Right. Would you like to say a few words, sir? I would, please. We'll get some pictures here, too. <clears throat> Mayor Euchert, uh, on behalf of the Mazda Shriners and the Shriners Hospitals for Children, I want to thank you for your proclamation, your support of the uh, uh, National Pancake Day, which uh, helps the Shriners Hospitals, and I, I guarantee you the, the money that we raise at the local IHOPs will be put to, to good use to help the kids. So thank you so much. Okay, Councilman Vaughn, could I ask you to come down, please, sir? And I want to turn this over to him. On January 30th, the city of Louisville received an award from the North Texas Tollway Association. And they received this award as part of the completion of the Sam Rayburn 26 mile tollway. There were nine cities involved, of which Louisville was one, and three counties Collin, Denton, and Dallas. And we were awarded this memorial, this plaque for, present, for participation in that event, and it's one of 12. Each city got a plaque, and the three counties got a plaque, and I'm here tonight to award it to the mayor and to the city council. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Councilman. I couldn't make I couldn't make the function, and Councilman was uh, gracious enough to step in and fill in for me and to receive the award. And I thank you very much, sir. My pleasure, sir. Thank you. <laughs> now, if I could, you know, one of the neat things I have in, in uh, we had a very long workshop session, longer than We started at four o'clock today, and our workshops have been kind of going over some stuff retreat. So we had some press here, which is really neat. I'm glad because. We had some really neat things happen at council meeting night. You saw we had the reward, awards given for proclamation for IHOP and the Shriners Hospital. And now we've got another very special presentation. I'd like to ask all of our LHS students that are here to please come forward and their sponsor, please come forward with them also, please. Come on up here with me, all the way around here. <laughs> You gotta get close like you like each other. <laughs> I know it's high school, but that's okay. <laughs> You'll probably end up marrying one of these people. <laughs> what, who's laughing? <laughs> who's laughing there? That must have been mom. <laughs> well, I believe we have a few of our uh, current uh, city team members here that married their high school sweethearts here from Louisville High School. It happens. Look, Chief, you won't even acknowledge anything. <laughs> Did you want to come forward now or you want to wait? Who, who, was, who was the sponsor that was supposed to? Yeah, you, did you want to come over? That's what I was thinking. Did you want to come forward now or you want to wait? Okay. All right. This is a very special group of, of young people we have here in Louisville tonight that we're recognizing. You know, I, I, uh, when I first elected office, I thought it was very important that our citizens here in our community 
realize what good work our young people in this community do. Because at one time I was a young person, and hopefully I did some good things, but we know tomorrow these will be the people that are out here doing the things that we're doing now. It's time that we recognize them for the achievements they do and for their willingness to stand up in front of their peers and be outstanding role models for their peers. Because this is what I think makes a community, it's what brings us pride and tradition to a community, is having good young people here in our city. So tonight, I have a very special honor that I would like to present to all of these young people, and I'm not going to butcher their names by introducing them one at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to present this plaque first, read this plaque and present it, and then I'm going to ask each one of the students, if they would, just one at a time, come up, introduce themselves, and tell you the character or the role that they play. The City of Louisville hereby recognizes the hard work, dedication, and teamwork of the Louisville High School cast and crew of the theater production of Hairspray and their representation of Louisville High School and the City of Louisville at the International Thespian Society State Convention in Houston, Texas, issued on this 20th day of February, 2012. Let's give them a big round of applause. I'm Tiffany Hill, and I played Tracy Turnblad. Okay. This might take a while. We don't care. Come on. Forward. And then we'll get a great group picture. Come on. Uh, I'm Rebecca. Ooh. I'm Rebecca, and I was the prop manager. Come out of here. I'm Kim Hosey, and I'm ensemble. I was an uh, I'm ensemble. <laughs> and you did a wonderful job. <laughs> I'm Laura McDuffie, and I played a backup dancer. <laughs> I'm Katie Bensinger, and I was in the ensemble. I'm Melania Amaya, and I played Prudy Pingleton. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hi, I'm Vanya Aguilar, and I played assistant stage manager. You know, we couldn't get this job done without a stage manager. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Courtney Talaziba, and I played Little Inez. All right. <laughs> I'm Erin Abear, and I play Tammy. Tammy. <laughs> I'm Jenna Boyd, and I played Amber Von Tussle. I'm Rachel Cates, and I was the stage manager. You got to tell them what to do, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to be mayor someday. You I'm Marley Schultz, and I was Penny Pingleton. All right. Come up here, sir. I am Kyle Raper, and I play Corny Collins. I'm Reed McFadden and I played a dynamite. I'm Courtney James and I played a dynamite. I'm Kayla Hall, and I played a dynamite too. All right. 
So there's a the difference between dime night one and dime night two? Yeah, and three. And three. Is it? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm Kelsey Lynch, and I was ensemble. Hi, I'm Andrew Wilson, and I play trombone in the orchestra. Hi, I'm Chris Wonga, and I play trombone in the orchestra. Hi, I'm Jennifer Kelly, and I was an assistant stage manager. Hi, I'm Stacy Randy, and I was in the ensemble. Hi, I'm Stephen Hewitt, and I played Sketch and The Flasher. Whoa, all right. <laughs> it takes a real man to be able to do that. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, I'm Wesley Townsend, and I am IQ. All right. Can you stay here and just make me look good for a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jennifer East, and I play Lorraine or the girl in the orange dress. Hi, I'm Allie Ramirez, and I played Brenda. Hi, I'm Michael Jimenez, and I played Brad. Hi, I'm Maria Garcia, and I play the principal. All right. <laughs> you know, when I was younger, I had to go to your office a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jenny Rudis, and I was in the ensemble. Thank you. I'm Emily Stimson, and I was in the ensemble. <laughs> Miranda Kump and I was in the ensemble. All right. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danielle Arellas and I was in the ensemble. <laughs> Hi, I'm Quinice Walker and I was Miss Motormouth Maybell. Oh, thank you. I'm Julian Johnson. I played Seaweed J. Stubbs. I'm Sam Kump, and I played Shelly. Ah, Shelly. I'm Michael Atkins, and I played Link Larkin. I'm John Tucker, and I played Mr. Pinky. I'm Victoria Franklin, and I play Lorraine, Luann, Luann. That's the name. <laughs> Hi, I'm Danielle Stevens, and I played in the ensemble. Hi, I'm Rachel Milloway, and I was the matron. Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Hi, 
My name is Brittany Lean, and I played the gym teacher. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rob Warrenstein, and I played Wilbur Turnblad. I'm Teresa Wells, assistant principal, and I was in the audience. <laughs> and it's a great pleasure to work with such talented students and directors, and we just appreciate your endurance tonight. We promise to all go eat pancakes and support the Shriners right. for you doing this for us tonight. But we had wonderful directors, and they're the ones that are up next. Hi, I'm Wendy Brozick, and I was the assistant director and the costumer. Hi, I'm Wendy Barrett, and I'm the very proud director. I, I can certainly see why you're proud. What a wonderful group of young people. Let's give them all a big round of applause. And you know, just remember, these are televised, so they're on channel 15 on your local cable channels, so you can watch this, take videos, and show it to your grandkids someday. On the internet with Thank you all very much. It's such a wonderful pleasure to see that we have this wonderful youth out there in our community that want to make sure we enhance and improve our quality of life through arts and the culture. And we certainly appreciate all their hard work. And it doesn't look like any of them had any fun doing any of it. <laughs> Next item on the agenda is item E, public hearing consideration of the 2011 impact free review and determination report as prepared by Brinkhoff, Hendricks, and Carter, consulting engineers of Dallas, Texas. Texas Local Government Code Chapter 395 requires a political subdivision imposing an impact fee to review and evaluate the capital improvement plan every five years. Engineering consultants, Burkhoff, Hendricks, and Carter have completed the review and determined <coughs> deter and determination of water and sewer impact fees. The report recommends the maximum allowable water and sewer fees for the five-year period 2012-2016. The consultant recommendation utilizes a mythology that would increase the fee each year beginning in 2012 and resulting in the maximum fee beginning charged by the year five of the plan 2016. Recommendation is that the City Council continue the public hearing to consider the 2011 impact fee review and determination report until March 5th, 2011 to allow for review by the Capital Improvement Advisory uh, Committee. Councilman Grena. Move to close public hearing. Continue. Have a motion. Continue. Mayor. Oh, continue. Oh, I'm sorry. Continue. Recommendation, what, yeah, is to, is to consider, sorry. right, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mo then I uh, move to continue the public hearing. I have a motion by Councilor Grinnis. We need it to a date certain. To a date certain. We'll get this right in a minute, Ms. Grinnis. Until March 5th, 2012, <laughs> to allow for the review by the Capital Improvements <laughs> Advisory Committee. Second. As so stated on the recommendation. Second. We have a motion by Councilor Grinnis. I'm not going to repeat it. You got it. By Councilor Grinnis. Second by Councilman Durham, was it? Yes. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Okay. Next item is Visitor Citizens Forum. At this time, any person with business before the council not scheduled on the agenda may speak to the council. No formal action can be taken on these items at this meeting. I did not have any cards filled out for speaker cards. 
Next item is consent agenda. All the following items on the consent agenda are considered to be self-explanatory by the council and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or citizen so requests. For a citizen to request the removal of an item, a speaker card must be filled out and submitted to the city secretary. I did not have any cards filled out and had no one asked to pull anything. Councilman Gilmore? Move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Have a motion by Councilman Gilmore to approve the consent agenda. The second by Councilman Vaughn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next item is item number 11, regular hearings. Consideration of a final plat of ARTX Park Addiction Park Addition, a 67.890 acre parcel zoned light industrial, heavy industrial, and warehouse within 15 proposed lots located south of Valley Ridge Boulevard and immediately west of Toyota of Louisville Railroad Park with three variances as requested by Kyle Hogue, GNA Consultants, Inc., on behalf of the owner. The 67.890 acre property is compri comprised of roughly 31.7 acres of unplatted property and a portion of two platted lots. The owner is proposing to divide the property into 15 lots for existing and future industrial and warehouse development. The property owner has an existing business on lots 14 and 15 which access Railroad Street. Lots 1 through 13 are undeveloped. The owner's engineer has applied for three variances with the general development ordinance. A, to allow access to lots 1 through 12 via a 1,200 foot long cul-de-sac. B, to allow driveway access within 110 feet of the easternmost entrance to Toyota of Louisville Railroad Park. And C, to allow the radius of the proposed driveway adjacent to Toyota of Louisville Railroad Park to extend in front of the pro park property. The Planning Zoning Commission we recommended approval of the plat of all three variances and all three variances at the February 17, 2012 meeting, five to zero. The uh, recommendation is that City Council approve the final plat of the ARTX park condition and requested variances as set forth in the above caption. Does Council need any further explanation of this from staff? There's going to be a presentation. Okay. Councilman Ferguson. Uh, move to approve the final plat with the requested variances as read. I have a motion by Councilman Ferguson to approve. Second. A second by Councilman Gilmore. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 12 is second and final reading consideration of an ordinance of the City Council granting to Texas New Mexico Power Company the non-exclusive right to use and occupy rights of way within the city of Louisville for the construction and operation of an electric transmission and distribution system, prescribing conditions governing the use of public right of way and providing for compensation therefore. In 2005, an ordinance was executed by the city of Texas New Mexico Power by the city to Texas New Mexico Power Company for electric franchise privileges with a termination date of December 2009. Staff and legal counsel have been negotiating the franchise agreement have reached consensus with TNMP. The existing franchise has remained in effect with TNMP providing franchise payments during this time. The city council approved the first reading of the ordinance on January 9, 2012 by a vote of 5-0. Based upon charter requirements and the new franchise requirements, the effective date of the franchise will be April 21st, 2012 and the franchise will expire on April 30th, 2017. Recommendations that council approve the second and final reading as set forth by the charter in the above caption. Councilor? Mayor, that doesn't have to be an approval. I just need to read it. Okay. This is an ordinance of the city council of the city of Louisville, Texas, granting to Texas New Mexico Power Company its successors and assigns the non-exclusive right to use and occupy rights of way within the city of Louisville for the construction and operation of an electric transmission and distribution system, prescribing conditions governing the use of the public rights of way, providing for compensation therefore, providing for an effective date and a term of said franchise, providing for written acceptance of this franchise, finding that the meeting at which this ordinance is passed is open to the public and providing for severability. Okay, that brings us to reports. Nika? Bob? 
Chief Tittle. Nothing, Chief Kerbo. Yes, Carol, we keep getting a little bit of rain here and there, don't we? Yes, sir. We're just within a few tenths of an inch of being right at conservation. We're at 521.1. Are you serious? We're Almost good. level conservation. We'll probably may see a little more runoff from Saturday, but most of it has already arrived, so we're in good shape. And we were what, down seven or seven and a half foot at one time? We were down seven feet uh, starting into the, the start of winter. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank the Lord. Donna? We have a number of exciting activities this week at the MCL Grant. I'm sure Councilman Ferguson may have some points to add to mine, but uh, Friday we have the Kindle Worship Experience. It's a series of bands presenting a Christian-based concert, and that will be held in the Performance <coughs> Hall at 7 p.m. Uh, we also have on Saturday, February 25th, from 9 a.m. to noon, it's uh, the Day of Dance. It's presented by the Medical Center of Louisville and Spirit of Women, and it's free health screenings, dance demonstrations, contests, prizes, and more. It is free, but advanced registration is required. And then on Saturday, February, or February 25th at 7.30 p.m., we have our Texas Tunes, the first of our Texas Tunes series. That's Terry Hendricks and Lloyd Maines. This is a great opportunity for Louisville residents because it's only $5. So we encourage everyone to come out. For everyone else, general admission is $15. Thank you very much. A lot goes on over at that theater, doesn't it? Brenda? Mr. Ferris? Thank you for your input there in the workshop sessions. I appreciate it. Mr. Backus? Nothing. Councilman Durham? Nothing, Mayor. Councilman Grinnell? Nothing, Mayor. Councilman Gilmore? This Saturday, the 26th at 2 p.m. is the Leela Bison Tour. We don't have these very often. They're only about twice a year, so it's a really <laughs> great opportunity to get right up close and get some great photos of some of the best characters in Louisville. <laughs> Mr. King? No, oh, sir. Mr. Ferguson? Oh, I always have something on the Arts Center. Um, go early for the, uh, the, sh the Texas Tune series because that'll be the last night for the uh, um, Visual Arts League's Our Town exhibition. It closes that evening. So go early if you haven't seen it. It's an outstanding show. You'll recognize a lot of things around town. And, of course, it's free. And um, so take advantage of that. Councilman Vaughn? Mayor, um, I would like to recognize Bob Monahan our Parks and Leisure Services Director. Approximately a week ago, he was honored by the South, Southwest Parks and Recreation Training Institute, and he was given the James W. Kitchen Memorial Special Recognition Award. This award recognizes members of the organization who have made substantial lifetime contributions to the organization and to the Parks and Recreation Program. And this is the criteria that the, that's set for the winners to be chosen. Winners of the award must have been members of the organization for at least 15 years and have made significant contributions to the association through a combination of holding an office, serving on the board or committees, serving as a speaker or service in some other capacity that directly contri contributes to the success of the organization. And I would just like to say we appreciate Bob Mounahan's work that he does in, for the city. Thank you, Councilman Lund, it is well said. Thank you very much, sir. Councilor? Julie? Julie? Officer, it's certainly a pleasure to have you tonight here tonight, sir, and we appreciate your service for us each and every day. I uh, do want to make sure everyone's aware of uh, tomorrow, I believe it starts at uh, 11, 1130, uh, our uh, Tri-City Chamber of Commerce will hold their tri annual Tri-City uh, banquet at our uh, uh, Hilton uh, Convention Center down off of 121, and uh, we'll have the cities of Louisville, Highland Village, and Flower Mound there to give their city, uh, State of the City addresses. Uh, Council, uh, Deputy Mayor Pro Tim Vaughn has graciously offered to fill in for me. I will not, will not be able to, and I've had to go to a funeral, and he's going to fill in for me and give our state of the city address. And I know you'll do an admirable job, and I thank you for that service, sir. <laughs> so, with that, and in accordance to with Texas Government Code, subchapter D, section 551.71, uh, city of uh, Consultation with attorney regarding litigation, section 
1.072, property acquisition, and section 551.087, deliberation, deliberation regarding economic development and negotiations will now convene into executive session. No, I did not. Could you please? Oh, he knows. He knows. He was out here when we came out. Okay. We'll convene back into regular session. Is there any action to be taken, Council? Move to adjourn. Second. Have a motion to adjourn by Councilman Grin, a second by Councilman Durham. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. <clears throat>